Hi everyone, this is Kai Chun Mo from Stanford University, presenting you our ECCV 2020 work, PT2PC, learning to generate 3D point cloud shapes from par tree conditions. This is a joint work with He Wang, Xin Chen Yan, and my advisor, Professor Liu Gibbs. In this paper, we formulate a novel 3D shape conditional generation task, part tree to point cloud, PT2PC which takes the symbolic part tree representing certain shape structure as input and generate multiple 3D point cloud shapes with geometric variations that satisfy the shape structure requirement as output. It is a long-standing research topic on learning 3D shape generative models. Previous works mostly study how to generate 3D shapes in a holistic manner without explicitly considering the compositional shape parts and shape structures. Such networks usually have a hard time depicting the fine-grained part details and boundaries. Recently, researchers started to investigate how to model and generate 3D shapes with explicit part and structures, which significantly improved the generation quality. There are also previous work studying content creation subject to certain conditions. Here I show two examples where 2D images or 3D shapes are generated from language distribution on the data structure. Our work follows the trend of representing shapes with their parts. More precisely, we represent each 3D shape as a hierarchy of parts as defined in the part net data set. Here is a chair example decomposing to parts at different granularities and represented as a part hierarchy. If we throw away the specific part geometry, what's left is what we call the symbolic part tree, which can describe a shape structure with part semantic symbols, just like the language sentence or scene graph representations I showed earlier. Our task of PT2PC is to generate multiple 3D shape geometry that satisfy the symbolic part tree condition. We propose a novel conditional GAN framework to tackle this task. For the generator, given the symbolic part tree input as the condition, we employ a symbolic part tree encoder which takes as input the children node features, summarizes the structural information, and passes the aggregated subtree context to the parent node. We repeat this operation hierarchically in a bottom-up fashion until reaching the root node. Then, given a random variable z indexing a certain geometric feature for the shape to generate, a part tree feature decoder combines the structural contents and the geometric feature together and propagate in a top-down manner to the children parts. We repeat this process until reaching the leaf node. At the leaf node, we finally use a point cloud decoder to produce part point clouds at the leaf level, which are finally assembled together for the final shape geometry. For the discriminator, we first summarize the generated leaf node geometry features using a point cloud encoder. Then we hierarchically move to higher levels and abstract node features using a tree feature encoder by aggregating the children geometry information. We repeat until reaching the root node. This is where the final real or fake scores is predicted. In addition to this structure-sensitive discriminator, we also employ a holistic point net discriminator that directly judged the assembled final shape geometry. Empirically, we found that the structure discriminator makes sure the generated shape satisfies the structural conditions, while the holistic shape discriminator helps close the gaps between the part assembly for the final shape. The entire conditional GAN is trained end-to-end -end using the standard framework of Wesserstein GAN with gradient penalty, WGAN-GP. Our approach demonstrates state-of-the-art performance on four biggest categories in the partner dataset for the PT2PC task. Here we show one example for each object category. For each part tree input, we can generate multiple shape candidates with diverse geometry by sampling different random variable Zs. We compare our method to two conditional GAN baseline methods, whole shape vanilla C GAN, B whole, 
and the part-based vanilla CGAM B part. The B whole baseline performs holistic 3D shape generation without explicitly considering shape parts. It employs a simple multi-layer perceptron for the generator and a point net as a holistic shape discriminator. Both generator and discriminator are conditioned on symbolic part tree root node structural context. For the B part baseline, it used exactly the same generator as our proposed method, but only used the point net holistic shape discriminator. You can think of this baseline to be an ablated version of our method that removes the structure discriminator. We adapt the standard evaluation metrics proposed in the previous 3D point cloud GAN works, such as the coverage scores, the diversity scores, and the fracture distance. For each of these metrics, we evaluate not only at the global shape level, but also at the part level, in order to measure more faithfully for the shape parts and structure generation. In addition, we propose a novel metric higher in SAG, that perform hierarchical part in segmentation that given a holistic shape point cloud as input, we reconstruct a part hierarchy describing the shape parts and structure as output. Notice that this is exactly the inverse procedure of our PT2PC task. This metric can help us evaluate how well the generated point cloud shapes match the input symbolic part tree condition. Here we show on the left that the shape point cloud generated by the B-hole baseline do not generate clear part details, so that our hierarchical instance SAG fails to recover the input part tree condition. While in the other hand, on the right figure, our method successfully produce the exactly the same input part tree condition. This shows that the proposed higher in SAG is a good metric for evaluating the PT2PC task. Here, in this big table, we show the number comparisons to the baseline method. And we can see that we clearly perform better than the other baseline methods by a large margin. Especially for the FPD score that evaluate the fracture distance between real and fake geometry distributions, and the HIS score, which is essentially the proposed hierarchical instance SAG metric. In these figures, we compare the generated point cloud shapes side by side to the baseline method. We can clearly observe that the B-hole baseline produce holistically reasonable shape geometry, but with unclear part structures. For the B-part baseline, it feels severely that it doesn't assign clear roles for the parts and the generated part point clouds are overlaid with each other, causing a lot of artifact in the final generated shapes. Obviously, our method generates shapes with clearer part structures and boundaries. In the real data column where I only show one example, this means that there is only one real data in the partner dataset. We observe that even for these cases, our method achieves a reasonable amount of generation diversity, thanks to the knowledge sharing among similar part trees and subtree structures when training a unified and conditional network. We also perform a user study where we ask people to rank the three methods according to the structure, the geometry, and the overall feeling of the generation quality. Our approach performs much better than two baselines regarding all the metrics. We also show that our metrics learn disentangled representation of shape structure and geometry. Here, each row shares the same Gaussian noise Z summarizing the same geometric information, and every column is conditioned on the same part tree structural input. We achieve the controllable shape interpolation along both the geometry and structure axis. Thank you, and we look forward to meeting you for any questions.